Welcome to the fifth tutorial of our series of contact app with integration of Firebase. So let's just go to our main activity because now it's all about displaying the contacts that we have added. And also to display that we would need an adopter and we would need a model to fetch this information. Make sure in the model the spellings of these keys are similar to your variables so we'll go right here and create contact class and we'll create an adapter just name it contact adapter extend recycler view contact and what do we want to display we want to we want everything we want contact email we want contact name we want contact number we want image URL because we are displaying image yeah that's all we want from here okay so control and constructor in the book of Mac command and and an empty constructor because firebase requires it if it is not there then app will be crashed so yeah here we will create class contact holder extend recycler view dot view holder and Okay, that's added. Context dot context is context and list contacts contact list real quick. Okay, and here we will take a constructor. Okay, that's perfect. Remove this view 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 layout inflator from context inflate r dot layout and what we have to do here is layout i just mistakenly named it as chat items because i was working on chat app you can watch that video also but this should be contact item but anyways let's just use it and what we are doing here is new contact holder okay perfect now here contact list size what are the views we have text view which is the contact name we have image view circle image view which is the image of the user of the contact and we have buttons for calling calling button and emailing button email button okay let's just cast these views real quick item view find view by id id And uh, here we have to see what are the IDs here. Image of contact, contact name. Okay, uh, going back to the adopter. It's correct. Let's just copy paste. And here is on the image image view image of contact calling button call intent email button 
email intent perfect bind view here we will use our custom class and here what we have to do is guys here is a little bit of an error so let me just uh, resolve it by removing this whole thing because I had imported oh yeah one mistake that I have done is I did not extend it so yeah let's just uh, not extend it actually here I have to add my custom uh, the, the class also contact holder okay yeah and now I will implement the methods now it should be fine so okay there we have it uh, call our custom class here contacts contacts uh, here will be contact list got dot get position okay now holder dot contact name set text contacts get contact name for image view we will use glide contacts <coughs> load contacts dot get image URL into holder dot image view okay perfect and lastly what we will do is <coughs> we will uh, here is calling button holder dot calling button set on click listener whenever call button is pressed we want it to take us to the dialer whatever number that we have stored for the user according to the position of the item it should fetch the number of that specific contact and take us to the yeah intent intent And action dial I guess okay So here we have to pass the intent for email and dial also. Yeah. Intent set data URI parse tell contacts get contact number. this and contacts start activity intent okay this should take us to the dialer holder email button action view excuse me guys for a while 
Set, set it okay intent is set and here is going to be mail to contacts dot get contact email perfect here we are done and we will rush to our main activity because we are displaying a recycler view so all of our information that is stored in the database should be list contacts contact list and lastly the contact adopter I'm a doctor okay yeah here we have it we will recycler view find view by ID recycler view Recycler view set layout manager. Sometimes we don't see our items being displayed because we don't set the recycler view set as this lens view. Okay, perfect. Now, whenever our app starts, we want it to display the contacts from the database automatically. So we will call a method display contacts. Create a method, okay. Here we have it. And now we will initialize our array list for database. Okay, sorry. Take a reference, database reference, reference, Firebase database, get instance, get reference, and here all the all the contacts added by me I want to be shown to me okay we will see if we have initialized firebase user or not I'll come here if the firebase is okay yeah it's initialized here okay this is the path of where the data is located it's located in the database it's here contact and it has a child with my user ID so I am the one who is adding these contacts so this was the the path okay we are listening from the database so simply this clear our array list and apply a for loop data snapshot ds snapshot dot get children and lastly not actually lastly contacts we will use our custom class make sure the spelling in the custom class variables matches your key spellings in in the hash map or in the database yeah ds get values contacts dot class here what we will do is we will add these contacts in our list add contacts and here simply apply the adopter m adopter this and uh, pass the list here in cycler view set adopter and what is it m adopter so so far so good if all is well then it should display our contact here and also once we click on it it should run the intent
so it has maybe crashed. Attempt to invoke or verify get the ID. Attempt to invoke virtual and a null object okay. So what is the issue here? Mm. Maybe this should be here also. Let's see. Or let's check the spelling contact. Okay, perfect. So here it's showing us the the contacts and images. And if I click this, it takes me to the dialer. And I will verify that this was the number of Steve Jobs. If I click on Jon Snow, Then it is taking me to Jon Snow's number. Triple one, yeah, all that. If I click on email, now it will start the email intent. But if you are doing this in your phone, I think it will directly just take, yeah, I, I, I would have to have add an account, but this is working. All good. So, lastly, what we will work on is this if we click here we should be able to update our name or anything that we want to update okay so that will be our last tutorial and you can do a lot with it you can add some progress dialogues and all that uh, i have done that in my in my other repository uh, that is uh, that is available on github but i'm not doing it right now but if you want to add some dialogue a progress dialogue that okay app is loading app is signing in i have done that in previous tutorials so you can look at that so let's just uh, head to our last tutorial and i'll see you in the next one so thanks for watching and subscribe